Yeah, hey guys. So basically the previous two topics have covered more inbound based actions. So essentially what we've covered in terms of outbound is how to upsert, to create golden records, to update, essentially to get those channels moving like we've talked about. But one of the functionalities I didn't talk about specifically with the upsert is the create action and the delete action. So today I would like to cover the delete action as it is pretty well used. So first things first with the delete action, it's a maximum batch of 200. So multiple batches would be created if needed. So let's say you 400, you'd have two batches of 200. Um, this is done directly through an attribute in the request profile for that MDM based action. So it's the op attribute. So you just say op equals delete. And what this delete action does is essentially it end dates that matching golden record. So let's say we have a record here, an active record. We can just, it essentially, that connector call just end dates a particular record depending on what's sent. And then just for a brief thing, the other one I mentioned was create. And what a create does is it essentially forces that golden record to get created, though there may be a duplicate entity. So let's go back to our integration. So let's go find our MDM tech topic. And we should have a record here. Let's make sure it's a viable golden record. Um, Test user sales for us. Let's just make sure. So it's one 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 two one one seven seven. Great. Here it is. So what I'm going to do? I'm just going to make sure that NetSuite's linked to it before I end date it. Great. It's established. So what I'm going to do? So as you can see here, there's an op. So I'm just going to set a default value to delete. And if you do want to create that record, it's just create. Same thing. So let's save that and let's run this. So essentially by end dating, it's not an active golden record anymore. And it's just, it's there for visibility purposes, but it's essentially considered a not valid or not used at that point in time golden record. So notice how what will happen is we don't have that and it's end dated. So from end dating, you can purge the record. So it's completely removed from the system. And let's say you accidentally end dated the wrong golden record. The best way to do that is through our MDM API. So we'll get more into our API now, but that's not something that you can do directly from the branded connector. So you'd have to make an API call to essentially unend date that specific record. All right, sounds good guys. Have a nice day.